Hey there, my name is Omar and I'm here to introduce the new version of SkyDrive. The first thing I'm going to do is launch SkyDrive from my Windows 7 taskbar. IE9 lets me pin my favorite websites to the Windows 7 taskbar, providing me one-click access to my sites. As you can see, we've launched SkyDrive and now I'm looking at all my files. And this is a streamlined design that puts all my files in one place that will be familiar to people who use Windows. I'm next going to click on my Documents filter and go into a Documents folder called Project Files where I have a couple of Office documents. Here I've selected an Excel file and from there I can do things like edit it in the Excel web application or open it in Excel 2010 or access other commands like version history, download, rename, and delete. The next thing I'm going to do is switch over to Firefox 4 and demonstrate the fact that SkyDrive works great in many different browsers and many different operating systems, making sure that SkyDrive works where you work. You'll also notice when looking at the album view that the pictures are pulsing through all the thumbnails in the albums, making this feel alive. In this next album, we've got pictures in lots of different aspect ratios, and we did a lot of work to make sure that whether it's panoramas or thumbnails or landscapes, they always appeared in the original aspect ratio that you took them. SkyDrive also takes advantage of features like CSS3 transitions, so that when you do things like open and close the info pane, or resize the browser window, the photos move around in a really fluid manner. This next album has lots of photos in it. It's important that we load the photos you want to see as quickly as possible, so that if you do things like scroll all the way to the bottom, you don't have to wait for all the pictures in the album to load. Or if you scroll right to the middle, we only load the pictures that are right in the middle of the album. This makes the site really fast. Now I'm going to switch over to Google Chrome and demonstrate another feature that we built, taking advantage of the HTML5 video tag, so that when you share things like videos with your friends, they don't have to install any software to watch them. We built the slideshow experience that you're seeing here to be really fast. We also built it to work really well across all the different browsers that your friends and family might be using to look at your photos. As you can see here, as I click around, the pictures load really, really quickly. And you can just skip around and look at the pictures that you want without having to go through each individual photo, waiting for it to load. That's the new SkyDrive. We're making a big bet on SkyDrive and turning it into a destination, the place that people go to store and access all their stuff in the cloud. Check it out at SkyDrive.com.